Okay, so I was gonna do a quick install for today's video, but when I took off the wheels, I noticed that the front passenger was kind of balding and I think a little bit of wire is starting to show. So uh, instead of doing that, I wanted to be safe and basically get these taken care of. Um, I've had these ones for a while and uh, they're just the same Pilot Sport 4S tires and I'm gonna get them swapped out today. And I probably need an alignment. I remember hitting a pothole on this side, so it probably caused it to kind of sway a little bit. That's why it's balding in the front. But yeah, these have about 25,000 miles on them, so they're a little old, and uh, I wanted to just get it taken care of and swap them out for these ones right here. So I think afterwards, I will do that install. I wanted to take care of the important stuff first. So I'm not going too far. I'm just going a few minutes down the street. To the shop but now's a good time to use this guy right here and um, get all the wheels and new tires stored so let's go ahead and do that so i just got the tires mounted and balanced for anyone wondering these are the only tires i run the pilot sport 4s's uh, from Michelin. I think they're one of the best tires out there. Got plenty of grip, great in the rain, and uh, I just like them a lot. You can see how thick these are compared to the old ones. Yeah, here's the old ones. I kept two of them. The other two were shot, but these are, I mean, they're not too bad just compared to the new ones. You can really see a difference in tread wear. So. I think I'm gonna give these a quick rinse and then slap them back on the car. And yeah, I'll see what else the day has in store for us. Okay, I got the wheels mounted and I decided to install these things. Uh, these white line sway bar support beam. I don't know what you really call it, reinforcement beams or whatever you wanna call it, but totally forgot I had these. It's been months since I bought it, but I finally had the time to install it. Yeah, it's pretty simple. You just remove this bolt right here. Use the one they provided, and then you remove this nut right here. I'm gonna be honest though, I don't know if it'll provide any benefits or anything since I am on the stock sway bar. We'll just have to see, but I figure since I need an alignment, I might as well just install everything now just in case I tweak the settings or anything like that by accident. But yeah, so that's that. I decided to just throw these on real quick. It just took like another 10 minutes, so it wasn't too bad. Next thing I'm gonna do is drop the car so it has some preload on there. And last thing to do is to tighten the reinforcement brackets. Okay, so I lifted the car back up so I can show you guys because it's really, really hard to find this information. But this 17 millimeter nut right here is 59 foot pounds. And then this one right here on the bushing, it's a 13 mil, but the factory one's a 12 mil. This one is 22.1 foot pounds, so. That's that. Oh, actually, one more thing. Uh, big shout out to SpeedKills83 on YouTube for helping me with the installation of this. I remember asking you months ago about preload on the reinforcement brackets and uh, you really helped me out. So thank you, shout out to you, dude. All right, guys, so I got everything put back together. It's always a good idea to check everything you install on the car, mainly the items that get used a lot, like brakes, and especially in this case, tires. So just because you installed something once doesn't mean that everything is gonna be perfect all the time. I got this thing aligned, I think a little over a year ago now. And as you guys can see, the tires were shot. I mean, I think it was still like 530 seconds in tread depth. So it still had a little bit of life in the used ones right there, but the fronts were the ones that took the most abuse and the most damage. And a lot of that is related to your driving style. Uh, I like to drive a little fast on the curves and that's the result of it is you go through these tires pretty quickly. I checked online the lifespan of these Pilot Sport 4 S's are 30,000 miles and obviously that's related to how you drive or what you use the car for. I mean in this case I just use it to go to work and a little spirited driving here and there. But yes, I need to get an alignment soon. I know the tire is getting eaten up on the passenger side, so I gotta get that fixed. But I figure I install the white line rear support brackets while I'm at it, so. 
Okay, so I thought I was wrapping up that video, but I decided to include this part into it. I just got back from the alignment shop and they got me all dialed in. Uh, I had no idea that my alignment was that bad. I'll show you guys the numbers here in a second. It's been a year and maybe four months since the last alignment, but obviously the time from the last alignment is really irrelevant at this point. It's about how you drive it and how many miles you put on the car. The car has almost 35,000 miles on it, 34 4859 to be exact and the last alignment I got was 26,000 so I don't have a complicated setup I'm just on the Bilstein shocks with the RCE yellow springs for the STI and I have some lower control arms some super pro in the back for the adjustability and I just installed the white line rear sway bar brackets I knew something was up when I saw that the rear wheels weren't facing properly so you could tell that they were a little crooked uh, in this case they were bowing outwards so positive toe is when the wheel is pointing inwards and negative toe is when they're pointing outwards. So imagine a penguin's feet and how they are pointing out. I know I use the penguin as an example. It's not the best example, but since their feet are pointing out, that is considered negative toe. Uh, so I'm just gonna show you guys the numbers right here. So before going to the shop, you can see that toe is kind of messed up so the left side before adjusting was 24 degrees of toe that's a absurd amount and then this side was pretty normal and then camber I mean it's shifted a little bit and if I remember correctly the camber was set to negative 1.3 on all corners in those 8,000 or 9,000 miles or so. So just from that, you can tell that it shifted a little bit. I mean, this is all due to the potholes and the way you drive and everything like that. So over time, obviously these are, these are gonna shift. So that's the front. Now let's go to the rear before the adjustment. Toe is at negative 16 on the driver's side and then negative 12 on the passenger side. And like I said, I knew something was up when I could see that the wheel was kind of funky looking. Uh, camber, not too bad, it's still within range, but again, it was the toe that I was concerned about. And as far as the steering, it was steering a little bit, and so here are the numbers after when they corrected it. So now, this is what a negative one and a half camber looks like on all corners, and negative 1.4 on that side, but not a huge deal. And then uh, zero toe in the front, and then 14 degrees of toe uh, positive, so that means it's towed in, meaning that the wheel is a little bit like this. I did want it to be at zero, I mean, but you know, the shop did the best they could and they couldn't get it to work. So what they did was instead of trying to adjust these to zero, they simply matched. Uh, the sides to be 14 so again before it was negative 16 negative 12 and now it's positive on both sides so as you guys saw in the beginning of the video the tire on the front passenger side it was showing wire or pretty close to it my guess is that i mean it's not aligning with the numbers i did hit a huge pothole a few weeks back and i don't know if that may have caused anything but it's not making sense on the numbers according to the numbers why that side of it would have uneven tire wear. Uh, according to these right here, before measurements, it looks fine. But my guess is that sometime in the past, when I swapped over my winter tires, I may have switched around a couple of these tires right here. And the reason why I think that is, since this is an all wheel drive, you're gonna wanna do the rearward cross. What that means is the fronts will go straight forward and then the front wheels will go back, but on the opposite sides. So I don't know, that's at least my best guess on why the front right was having uneven tread wear. But regardless, it is always a good idea to get alignments often. I know it's different per person and for whatever car, but for me, it might be safe to get two alignments per year just because of how my tires wore since the last time I got aligned. All that said, the car is looking pretty good. It's pretty flush with the fenders and I just, 
Again, I like the way it looks now. And as far as the handling goes, like I said, I don't know if those sway bar brackets contributed anything, but again, I'm on the stock sway bar, so I don't really, I didn't really expect to see any benefits to begin with. As far as the new tires go, these are awesome. I couldn't get them to break and just, I'm super happy with them. I just wanna continue buying these tires. But other than that, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and close this one out. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.